Hi, in this screencast, we are going to take a look at how the pro accordion component of Oxy Extras uh, can be used to show the items of a custom post type or just about any post type. It can be the standard pages and posts too um, as a dynamic accordion on the front end. So in this case, I've got a custom post type that uh, has been registered using this uh, plugin called CPT UI. So here, uh, previously what I've done is I've uh, put the slug as FAQ and uh, the plural as FAQs and singular as FAQ and then I pressed add post type. So you can see the post type here. After you do that, you'll get the custom post type appearing here and you can click on add new and then you can Just add your items that has uh, the text as well as the content. And this is what we are going to build. So these are the one, two, three, four, five, the latest five uh, CPT items. And uh, the accordion header is going to be the title of the post. And what appears when we tap or click on that this is the content of that post. Okay, so let's start from scratch. Um, I'm currently editing my static home page and let's add a section first. And inside that section, I'm going to add a heading. I'll just call this FAQ. Let's set the font size to say it's some 30 pixels. Okay, and we'll change this to H2. And um, the next thing you need to do is to make sure that uh, under oxygen and oxy extras, this component pro accordion is active or it is selected. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is go to extras and add pro accordion. But before we do that, since uh, we want a dynamic posts accordion, what we need to do is we need to add a repeater and move this pro accordion inside the repeaters div. So I'm going to go to this one, add search for repeater and then have this pro accordion go inside this accord repeater's div like so. Okay, I'm going to select this repeater and add some margin at the top so that the FAQ heading and the repeater are not butting against each other. Okay, so Next thing we need to do is um, we need to basically set the query of this repeater such that it pulls uh, the items of our CPT. So if I go to primary and query and select custom and set the post type to FAQ and change the count to five. Okay, so the problem with this approach is you can see that there is this uh, pagination appearing and we do not want that pagination to appear. So instead of selecting the custom query, we would need to go with either the manual query or advanced query. So let's go with advanced now. And I'm going to click edit query. And uh, let me just delete these things. Okay, so the first thing is that we need to set the post type to FAQ and we want to set the number of posts to five. So set select posts per page to five. And since we do not want the pagination to appear, we need to set no found rows to true. So what this, what this query parameter does is that it goes to the database and it really fetches only the five latest posts and not the rest of the posts. Okay, so you can click apply. 
all right so next go ahead and select this pro accordion and we need to go to this dynamic data and for the header text i would like this to be the title of the post so click on this uh, click on this data and under post you click on title and click insert okay so now this is showing the post title uh, i think of the latest uh, cpt item okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to ensure that uh, the content or the body of this accordion is the uh, content of the post so for that we need to make sure that this pro accordion is active and inside that you go add wordpress dynamic data and content okay so if you save this and go here and refresh okay you expand the accordion item and it is blank there is nothing inside so currently there is some problem with the way that uh, the components uh, work with oxygen and hopefully this is something that will be fixed at a later time by them but when we add uh, the you know wordpress dynamic content then when we do that inside this pro accordion it is not going to work properly so let's let me just delete this okay and i can't seem to be able to delete also so what we need to do is just move this thing outside the accordion uh, let's say i put it here yeah so now i'll be able to delete it all right so uh, inside this section basically just anywhere outside this pro accordion add the content so if you see now it actually has a span which is inside the text previously when we have done that inside the pro accordion we just got the text so we got the correct component outside this time just move it inside the pro accordion okay like so so now you can see that the pro accordion contains the content of the item go ahead and refresh and you should be able to see their content here okay all right so as you can see uh, there is no vertical spacing between the accordion items so let's go ahead and add some gap or spacing in between the accordion items so i would select the accordion component and go to accordion item and uh, set the bottom margin to say 20 pixels and also uh, i do not like the way the text is all capitalized here so let's go back to header and typography and let's change this to say 20 pixels and we'll set the text transform to none okay and uh, notice how this uh, question mark appears here so that is coming from this context icon slash counter so go ahead and disable that okay so now it looks much better and also works as you would expect so um what we have currently showing up inside this content is uh, the actual post content but if you instead want to just show the excerpt instead of the full content what we can do is um, let's first add the excerpt outside so for example i select say this heading and i'm going to add a text component here okay and this text i'm going to double click on that text and click on insert data and here i'm going to select excerpt okay so then inside the pro accordion we currently have the content the post content i'm going to delete that and move this excerpt inside the pro accordion and come here and refresh okay so what we see now is the are the excerpts in this case it probably doesn't really show the difference because uh, i had very less content but 
uh, what we are looking at is the excerpt okay so just to give you a summary what we need to do is we need to have a repeater and inside the repeater we need to place the pro accordion component um, and for the pro accordion uh, and also we need to change the query of the repeater to pull um, the items of your custom post type or just you know your desired post type and for the pro accordion under dynamic data we can uh, set the header text uh, to be the post title and whatever is placed inside the pro accordion becomes the body of the accordion that gets shown uh, when that item expands accordion item expands so for that instead of placing the content directly inside the pro accordion you need to first um, add it somewhere outside and then move it inside the pro accordion for it to work properly okay i hope uh, you found this helpful bye